Uh, this is the AMC 8335. This is a newer model power pad from AEMC. It's replacing the 3945. Um, it has a little bit more features than the 3945 did, starting with you could put four clamps, current clamps, and put onto it, uh, one of them being the neutral. And instead of having an IR port, it has a USB port to hook up to your computer. Hook up to the computer is still fairly easy, as was with a 3945. All right, so uh, what I have right here is a single phase measurement. I'm measuring a single phase, 120 volts, and 200 amps with my AMC SR193 probe. Uh, if you want to do three phase measurements, you could refer to a ATEX Fluke 435 how-to video, or I can show you right here. You go to the setup key, it's the little wrench, and you go down to electrical hookup and hit enter. Uh, from there you just browse up and down to whatever hookup you want. On the 8335 for your current setup, it automatically senses what current probe you're using, so you won't be able to change it on the menu because it automatically senses it. Now if you want to go back or out of any menus, you just hit the back key right here. Uh, now I'm going to go to the measurement screen, which is down here. All right, right here what you're seeing is uh, your voltage and your current waveform. If you want to see total harmonic distortion, it's a little tab right here and I'm using our calibrator so we don't have any distortion. If you want to see power readings you hit the little W and right there you can see the power, power factor, volt amps reactive and volt amps This is also a total harmonic distortion screen. If there's any distortion, there's it'll show up right here. A bunch of little bars will show up. It'll tell you it'll show you what harmonic it is. If you want to see inrush current or inrush voltage, you just hit the top left button. And from here you could select transient to, to see any transients on your waveform or any inrush current. Just hit enter on what you wish to see. And from here, uh, you set up. How you need. All right, so uh, if you want to save something, you hit the little plot button right here in the bottom middle. And from here, it's gonna go to your setup for your time and stop time for your measurements. If you want to set up what you want to see when you pull this data up again, there's a little wrench again over here. You hit that stop button and there's a lot of different selections of what measurements you can see when you bring your data up again. So from there, you just hit the return key to go back to the previous menu to start your readings. And scroll up and down, uh, select start time, and date, stop time. Uh, the period is the interval in which the device is going to take measurements. So right now it's just 10 minutes. That means every 10 minutes it's going to take a measurement. And just hit OK. And well, your stop time is supposed to be different than your start time. And now, once your settings are correct, it says recording on standby, and it's going to start recording once your start time hits.
Now if you just want to take a snapshot of your current waveform, you just hold down the camera button and then a camera icon is going to be displayed on the top left of your screen. Then you release it and you took a snapshot of your waveform. Now if you want to go back and look at that again, you hit camera button and open it up hit enter and this is the waveform that I was reading before.